How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Hello, guys. How are you? See you, guys. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? All good? Uh, yeah. All uh, right. Everything okay, teacher? And you? What about you? <laughs> I'm really tired. I'm really, really uh, tired. Is this, you know, something, something, well, something funny happened yesterday. So I drank a lot of, I drank a lot of Coke at night. But I'm, I'm, I'm talking like, you know, Coca-Cola Zero, but, you know, it's got, it's got um, caffeine, right? So, yes. So I drank one liter and I couldn't fall asleep. So I went to bed until 5 a.m. So, <laughs> so so I had to wake up I had to wake up at 6 30. You so don't I sleep slept. well. I, I didn't have any sleep at all. You know I slept like for one hour or an hour and a half. So that's why that's why I kind of look destroyed today. <laughs> that's that's you know that's that's because it was only you know for for one hour and a half. So anyways, um, but I'm good, you know. Um, what about you? What about you, Miguel? How was how was your work today? Hey, hello, teacher. You look a little destroyed. <laughs> yes. um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. sleepy. Um, but anyways, so, so how about you? Are you destroyed too or? No, uh, I look fine. This guy, I am good. I look fine. fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We're good. Uh, all right, guys. Hey, let's turn on the cameras, guys. Jocelyn, welcome back, Jocelyn. I think I um, we lost you, Jocelyn, in the last couple of minutes yesterday. Yeah, I have a problem with my computer. I I, I don't know what happened with the battery of of the computer. So okay. Oh, so you, so so okay. So so your battery, your laptop's battery died yeah yesterday. it's not working okay All right. very good what about you janet how was your day at work today good evening so yesterday and today very very relaxing don't have a lot of work you didn't yes. have a lot of work no no i don't have was oh, relaxing wow. yesterday and today so okay. I'm happy, I'm happy for this. All right, all right, great, great, great. So we're gonna wait for the rest of the people to join us, guys. Uh, Mirna, how are you, Mirna? How's how's the beach? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm good. A little, uh, just tired. Why are you tired? You're not uh, tired because you were. <laughs> why why are you tired? I, I went to the gym and and I came and I I just uh, I had a class. Okay. Yeah. You had a class. Okay. All right. Oh, you mean from the university? Oh, oh yeah. Before before this class, I had another class. <laughs> you have another. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's great. That's great. Okay. What about you, Alejandro? How was your day today? Hi, hi, David. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm fine, but my day uh, was a little bit tired. A little um, I was at the university in the morning. Then all the uh, I got classes at uh, two to nine p.m. basically, <laughs> and yeah, I feel a little tired, but but I'm okay. Okay. All right, all right, very good. All right, guys, um, welcome aboard. I got news for you guys. So, um, so we have to deliver, we have to deliver 16 days. So we have to stay, to stay here for. I mean, you're gonna receive 16 hours of of, uh, of classes, right? So we're gonna have uh, 16 interactions. So that means, guys, that we're gonna we're gonna come here. We're gonna come this week from, well, from Monday to Thursday. <clears throat> And then uh, our last class will be held on Monday. 
All right, so Monday, next week, guys, is our last day together. So Monday through Friday, I mean, through uh, Thursday this week, and then we come back on Monday. Got it? All right, that's going to be our yeah. last class. So we were, you know, so we were supposed to finish on Tuesday. However, you know, <clears throat> we are one day ahead. Right. So, I mean, we're still going to have 16 hours. Okay. Just FYI. Right. So you're still going to get the, the, the amount of hours that, that you're supposed to get. Um, in other news, guys, we have, um, I, I, I really need you guys to finish the platform. You can finish the platform. Um, really good, you guys at, uh, there is a fear of lies in the background. They're all right. Anyway, so, <laughs> so uh, you know, in the last day, guys, we're going to go over the platform. Um, so I, I need you guys to finish everything, even if you have errors. And then uh, I'm just going to help you with the answers. We're going to, you know, these, this week, guys, we're going to be going over. Uh, we're going to be going over uh, the platform, you know, and the answers. And, and we're going to try to solve them together. Okay. All right. So if you, you know, if you have come across any issue, guys, something, <clears throat> something that you cannot solve or anything, okay, um, you can ask me and I'm going to help you with that, okay? All right. Any questions regarding that? No, all good. All right, Kalina. Hello, Kalina. How are you? Good to see you. I'm sorry to be late. All right. Okay. Very good. Um, no, we were just mentioning, Kalina, that we're going to have... Our last class will be held on uh, next Monday, so this week we're going to be here from Monday to Thursday. And then next week, all right, next week, um, next week we have our last class, okay? Guys, I'm going to mute you guys because uh, if you have noise in the background, I'm going to mute you, okay? Just so we can focus on the class. All right, anyway, so uh, welcome back, guys. Today we're going to talk about the past, okay? Um, so continue from uh, continuing from the topics from the platform, guys. This is what's next. All right. Okay. So, so today, guys, we we're, we're uh, we'll learn about uh, time in the past. You know, we're we're gonna talk about the time in the past using different ways, right? So, especially, guys, uh, we're actually gonna be talking about a goal um, or how long, you know. All right. So we're going to talk about that today, guys, okay? So what is the objective for today? Uh, let's see. Jocelyn, help me read, Jocelyn. Okay. By the end of this class, participants will be able to refer to time in the past using different ways. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Jocelyn. Okay, guys, do me a favor. Janet, Alejandro, Sonia, Jocelyn, all right? Turn on the cameras, guys, okay? All right, I need you to be fully paying attention here, guys. Thank you very much. All right, so um, so let's get down to let's get down to business, guys. Okay, let's let's get some vocabulary out of this. All right. So now this is you know this is uh, the practice listening practice from the platform, guys. Okay, but let's get some um, let's let's get some vocabulary out of the way. Hold on, guys. Is this is the one. Hold on. Um, all your horses, guys. That's the other presentation from the other class. All that. Oops. Okay. All right, guys. Um, anyways, okay. So, um, pulling out the other slides here, uh, so we can go ahead and talk about the vocabulary. Okay. All right, guys. So we're good. All right. So this is it, guys. Uh, share. All right, you should be able to see the presentation now, okay? All right, guys, so anyways, so let's take a look at the vocabulary here, guys, okay? 
All right, so um, let's see, guys. Okay, so I need one Emma and one Steve. So who wants to help Marie, guys? Who wants to be Emma and who wants to be Steve? I'm Emma. All right, all right. All right. So Mirna is Steve, okay? So I need an Emma now. I'm kidding, you're Emma. Are right, you gonna be Emma? All right, so um, Kalina, all right? Let's, let's be Steve, Kalina. Excellent. All right, let's go. Uh, look, here's a quiz of events of events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. Whoops, me lo movió. Sorry. <laughs> I'm good at history. All right. First questions. When did the deal war war begin? I think it began began in 1970. Huh. And how long has the United Nations <laughs> been in existence? Um, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Mm, next question. How long we were the Beatles together? Well, they start in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how am I doing so far? Beautiful. Good job. All right. Plus, guys. Well done. Okay. Oh, am I? I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Good no, night. Finish it not up. Not very well. No one of your answer is correct. Not, not one of your answers is correct. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Applause for Myrna and Kalina, guys. Well done, girls. Good job, okay? All right. So let me help you with the pronunciation, okay? First of all, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I was laughing because you said, huh? Like, ha. Huh? It's not, guys, this is not, ha, huh? right? Like, like, no, all right? <laughs> it's not like, ha. Huh? Um, ah. this, is, this is more like, huh? It's a schwassen, guys. Okay, huh? Huh? All right, very good. So, anyways, okay, so pronunciation here, okay? Repeat, guys. When did World War Two? I mean, World War One begin? When did World War One begin? When, when did it World War One begin? World, okay, you have to say World, World War One. World War One. World War One. Very good, okay? Now, you said here, Kalina, you said 1970, right? It's not 1970, it's 1917. Everybody, 1917. 1917. All right, 1917, right? Now, you say existence or something, right? Um, Smyrna, it's existence. Repeat existence. 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 Now, so tomorrow, guys, I'm going to teach you about ED endings, okay? And the reason why I'm bringing this up, guys, is because how do we read, how, what is the past tense, guys? So how do we read the past tense of the verb start? How do we read this? Party. Party. All right. Started, right? So I started, okay? Started. Started. Started, okay? Very good. So I started, okay, right? So that's how you read it, guys. So you don't read it like. I start, okay. Very good, guys. Okay, so let's get vocabulary here, okay? Um, what is the meaning of century, guys? Do we all know what the meaning of century is? See? The guy with the fear lies in the background, please. <laughs> uh, yourself, okay? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm muting you one because you, you're, 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 you, have, you have your dog is barking, all right? Sorry. Uh, yes, okay, so what is the meaning of, of century, guys? 100 year. Well Okay, 100 year, years, year. plural, right? Yeah. All right, very good. Okay, all right. What else, guys? What is World War One? What is that? Guerra. Uh, it is a conflict. I'll Google Translate. Between. I, what is it? <laughs> the first war. I, it, well, it's not it's... the first war. I mean, it's not the first war, right? Because, I mean, there, there's been a lot of wars, guys, uh, throughout the years. So what, what, so, okay, so this is a word, right? It's just, a, it's just a global confrontation between, you know, the most powerful uh, countries in the world, right? 
All right, very good, guys. Uh, what else? What else? Okay, now I want you to take a look at these sentences, guys. We're talking about, um, if you know, events from history. Okay, all right. Notice how long, right, has the United Nations been in existence? Okay, notice, uh, notice this sense. Okay, how long since, right? What was the next question, guys? How long were the Beatles together, right? Oh, uh, well, they started in 19 blah, 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 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So how am I doing so far? Not very well, blah, blah, no one of your answers is correct, okay? All right, so this is what I want you to notice, guys, okay? That we're talking in past, and, you know, we're talking in simple past here, and um, we're using expressions such as since, and you can also use ago, okay? So we're gonna learn the difference between these two sentences today, okay? So when we refer in the past, guys, what happens? Okay, let's take a look at the first example, okay? Um, Janet, help me read, please. A point of time in the past. When right. did war? Go ahead, I'm sorry. When did World War II take place? All right, and the answer? During in 1940s, in the 1940s, over 60, year, 60 years ago. Repeat, guys, during the 1940s, 1940s. 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 Okay. All right, guys, okay, you need to learn how to pronounce numbers, okay? Over 60, 60, not 16, 60 years ago. Guys, it's funny, you're, you're actually, you, you can pronounce things, but it's funny, guys, because this, you're saying 16, you know, 16. How are you saying 16, guys? I mean, you can pronounce it, right? But if you see this, this guys, it's like you're saying 60. <laughs> so so how, how does this happen, guys? I mean, it's not a problem of pronunciation, it's like, it's like doing the opposite, right? I should tell you, no, okay, read this as 16, right? You would say 60, right? 16. So, right, it's uh, it's an inverse psychology, right? You mm -hmm. like to do what you're not supposed to do, all right? Anyways, guys, so now notice something, guys, okay? So when we're referring to time in the past, guys, we can talk about a period of time, okay? So, for example, what is the expression here? What is the word that we're using that determines that this is a period of time? What is the word that we're using here that determines that this is a period of time? During, okay? During, not during, during, okay? During, right? So, during, okay? And, okay, so prepositions, guys, okay? And lastly, ago. <clears throat> I'm going to oh. teach you how to see what's the difference, you know, between during or since and ago, guys, okay? You're gonna notice something here, okay? So this, guys, okay, so when we say, you know, during the 1940s, in the 1940s, over 60 years ago, it might be specific, guys, about the, uh, do I know the exact days? Or do I know the exact day? Do I know the months, etc. Yes or no? No. No, I don't, okay? I don't know. Uh, anything about when this happened exactly, right? I have a period of time, and that's that's the thing, okay? I have a period of time, all right? Very good. Um, so when do we use this, guys? Okay, Luis, so when do we use this? When do we use during and in and over 60 years ago? When we refer to what? A uh, point of time in the past. A point of time in point the past. The time in the past. Okay, very good. Okay. All right, very good, guys. So now, what if we talk about a period of time that continues in the present? Ha, huh, notice how the how how this can affect guys the present, okay? And notice that the uh the tense changes as well, okay? All right, so um let's see, Kalina. No, you know what, Miguel, help me read, Miguel. Okay, a period of, okay. <clears throat> how long has the United Nations been in existence? Okay, right, that, I didn't understand that. How long has how the long, United Nations been in existence? How long has the United Nations been in existence? United Nations. 
United United Nations. 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 There you go. Okay. All right. So hey, there is something else happening here. Okay. So now we're not using during. We're not using in. We're not using ago. What are we using here? Juan, uh, help me read the examples and tell me what are we using here. So what's different between these sentences and the sentences above? Since four. Okay, since and four, right? So, uh, so the answer, guys, since 1945, since World War II, ended for about the last 60 no, years. No. Okay, All right. So you can answer like that, okay? So now, guys, what is the difference between the first sentences, the, the ones that we have um, at the beginning, and the one and then this one? What is the only difference between saying, you know, during the 1940s and since? What do you think the difference is, Sonia? The action continue. Okay, it's more right. specific. No, the it's not that action it's more continue. Or, or, yeah, it's like the, the action is uh, in the past and since uh, it refers. Uh, like continue beautiful guys okay all right so it is guys okay that uh Myrna is absolutely right okay it is guys a continuation of the um an action until the present okay so this still has an effect in the present guys okay we're gonna see more about that soon and lastly guys okay all right let's take a look at the last examples who would like to help me read this guys Huh? Me, teacher. Go ahead, Irina. Okay. Uh, a period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970, 14 years. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, how long were the Beatles together, right? From 1960 to 1970 for 10 years. So, that's 10 years in total, right? So, now, guys, all right. Uh, now, does this affect the present? If I say, guys, from 1960 to 1970, does, does, does this affect the present? Yes or no? What do you think? It's in the past. All right, it is in the past, right? So this doesn't have an effect. So this action already finished in that past, okay? All right, very good, guys. All right, so that was just the small warm up. All right, so here, guys, we have a more detailed explanation on what's going on, okay? All right, hold on, okay? So there are, I want you guys to write down these three words, all right? Because that's what we're going to be using, all right? So in, ago, and during, all right? So they represent, guys, those are words for, those are words for, uh, talking about, you know, time. Okay, so we have a timeline, guys, since the 1900s, you know, since, since the year 1900, all the way uh, to, the uh, to the year 2000, okay? So here, guys, all right, so take a look at the first sentence, okay? So what does the first sentence say? So, uh, what does the first sentence say, guys? Rock and roll became popular about 15 years ago. 15. And again, 50. guys, we're saying 15. All right, very good. 50 years ago, guys. Okay, 50 years ago. All right, guys, notice this. Okay, notice this expression. Okay. Um, so, guys, if, you know, if we are in the year 2000, okay, let's pretend that we're in the year 2000, right? We're going to talk about, I want you guys, okay, we want you to focus on this one expression, okay? I'll tell you why soon, guys, okay? So 50 years ago, guys, when it, when was 50 years ago? If we are in the year 2000. In 1950. Okay, right, so this is the present, okay? So this is gonna be the present, all right? And this is gonna be the past, past. okay? Okay, this is the past, all right? So now notice, guys, how there is a transition here, okay? 
So I want you guys to think about this, okay? Let's let's do a quick exercise, and then I'm gonna give you the answer, okay? I want you guys to use the same expression, but you're not gonna use a go. You are gonna use since, okay? Or you can use during, all right? So I want you to give me two sentences, guys. You're gonna give me a sentence with during or a go. So I want, I want everybody, guys, I'll give you two minutes, okay, to send me two answers. Everybody, you need to send me an answer to the chat, guys, okay? I want you to say the same sentence, okay? All right, rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago, okay? How can you say that using since? And how can you say that using uh, during, all right? Let's see, guys. Let's see, all right? If you need more time, I'll give you more time. But everybody, send me your examples, okay? All right, I'll wait for your examples, guys. Let's go. We're going to talk about the structure. Don't worry, okay? This is just a warm-up, okay, um, to see, you know, to check your knowledge. So, okay, so I got two answers so far. I got Miguel. Oh, oh, oh. okay, so I got Miguel says during the, 19, during the 1950s, okay. All right, well, you're actually going to, you, you're, you're going to score this, okay? You're going to check on this. All right, send it to the to the whole group, guys, because then I get I get like private messages. I need everybody to see them. Okay, all right, all right, very good, very good. Don't be shy. All right, very good. Let's see, guys. All right, let's see. So, um, let's see what we got here. Let's take a look at. <laughs> if you haven't finished uh, sending them, guys, okay, send them, send them in, please. All right, because uh, we're gonna go over them today. All uh, right, well, right now, All right. So, I got a sentence here, guys. Okay, let's analyze the first one. Okay, this one, guys. Is it correct or incorrect? What do you think? Alejandro, help me read it. Did you did you did you send me both, Alejandro? Did you send me both answers? Uh, no, I just sent you one, but I, uh, I, I need two. Okay, all right, never mind. I continue. All right, we'll work with you later. I need two sentences, guys. I need you to use during and I need you to use guys since. Okay. All right. So how can you transform that? Okay, so I need both answers. All right, so uh Paco, okay. Did you did you send me who sent me two answers, guys? Oh, Jocelyn, you did. I think Jocelyn did it, right? Yes, Jocelyn, right? So let's analyze Jocelyn's um, Jocelyn's answer, okay? Jocelyn, since 1950, rock and roll is popular, okay? Now, what do you think, guys? Is this sentence correct or incorrect? And why? Or is there is it missing something? Or is there something that we could change? Does it make sense? First of all, guys, okay, aside from grammar, guys, think about, hey, does it make sense when I pronounce it, yes or no? All right, so. <laughs> what do you think, Jocelyn, right? Since you are the author of uh, this sentence, okay, so what do you think? Tell us. I think... <laughs> Jocelyn is very shy. Yes, Kalina, what do you think, Kalina? I think it, it, you miss became. So since 1950, rock and roll is popular, doesn't sound good. It became popular. Well, okay, right. 
okay, that that's okay. I you can say is guys, okay? No. Or or right. maybe uh, it has to be in past is has to be where. Okay, you think it's in the past, okay? Wow, sorry. Since 1950, uh, rock and roll was popular. No, 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 no. Because, okay, remember, we still, uh, if we say it like this, guys, okay, it means that we still, do we still have an effect in the present or no? What do you think? Yes. Yes, it's okay, we a, still uh, have. Say, since 1950, rock and roll has been popular. Popular, popular, not popular. 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 Sorry. Popular. Popular. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. All right. So since 1950, all right, rock and roll has been popular. Okay. You can say that. Okay. That that is great. Okay. So guys, okay. Yes or no? Is this great? Yes or no? <laughs> For me, no, teacher. Why not, though, Luis? Maybe uh, uh, the expression 1950. Is different when you use uh, the S and the N of the year. All right. The original expression, guys. Thank, thank you very much, Luis. Thank you. All right. Rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago. Okay. So let's rock, you know, rock and roll became popular uh, about 50 years ago. Right. So I, I basically, guys, I want to say the same thing. Okay. If I say, guys, since 1950, rock and roll is popular. Now, is it the same guys as saying rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago? Am I understanding that? Yes, right? All right. So, guys, this is incorrect, though. There is there is one single, there, there is one reason why this is, this is incorrect, okay? So, here's the thing, okay? All right. This is what you have to do, guys. Since 1950, right, comma, all right? If you're going to start with the clause since, guys, since 1950, okay, you have to add a comma. Since 1950, rock and roll is popular. So a better way of saying this, guys, would be rock and roll, right? Rock and roll is popular since 1950, okay? Now, it has an effect in the present, right? Because it's still popular, right? And now you we don't have to use a comma. Got it? So yes, it was correct. We're you, we were just missing a comma. Plus for Jocelyn. Good job, Jocelyn. All right, good job, All right? Well done. Okay. So let's see who sent me a different example. Paco, rock and roll is being popular now. In this one, guys. Okay, tell me, is this um what about this? Okay, is this correct or incorrect? Rock and roll is being popular since 1950. Why is it correct or why not? Who can tell me, guys? I think that being it's uh, it's incorrect. You think this one is correct? Why? Oh, you mean being, <laughs> being. Okay. So you being. said being. Yeah. Being, okay. All right, okay. Very good. Thank you, Mirna. Mirna is right, guys. That is incorrect. Why? Tell me. Okay, so yeah, that, that is actually what's incorrect here. But because why? Um, uh, we have a verb before. And, because, uh -huh. and, and it's an action that it is continuing the present. It is an action, yeah, it is an action that continues in the present, right? Progress. Yeah. So here, guys, okay, all right, this is not progressive, guys, okay? All right, that's why we cannot... We cannot say that, okay? All right. So it's popular since 1950. So that that was the mistake, okay? All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I wanted, I want a different. Became popular. Uh, became popular during the night. Okay, right. This one, okay. Uh, well, this is Jocelyn's example. Thank you, Jocelyn. You're the only one who has sent me both so far. I need the other example, guys. I need during, okay, I got Paco, okay. But rock and roll was very popular during the 1950s. Now guys, is this correct guys? Rock and roll was very popular during the 1950s. Yes or no? What do you think? Irina, Rafael, Alejandro, what do you think? Uh, maybe guas is wrong. Don't say don't guas. 
Okay? <laughs> guas, guasa, la guasa, no. Guas. <laughs> Not guas, guys. Or gron, all right? All right? The, remember, guys, the W sound is an U sound, right? The W, guys, sounds like an U. It's simple, guys. Okay? Pretend that this is an U, and that's it. It's the same when you say huevo. Can, do you say huevo or do you say huevo? Deme dos colas de huevos, por favor. How do you pronounce it, guys? Huevos or huevos? Huevos. All right, huevos. so it's the same thing, okay? <laughs> we, was, okay? Was. 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 Got it? Okay, this is an U sound, guys, not a gu. All right? Okay. Very good. I'm sorry, Irina, so continue. No. Um, well, I think was... <laughs> was is wrong, I think, teacher, but I'm not sure because uh, you are talking uh, about uh, something uh, with uh, continuous, but I'm not sure. Mm, okay. Do you agree with her, guys? Do you think that, that the verb was here is wrong? I think that it's correct. It's correct. It is correct, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Marina. Thank you so much, Irina. Okay, yes, guys. Okay, it is correct. Okay, rock and roll was very was very popular during the 1950s. The only thing that we're missing here, guys, period, guys, period. Okay. All right. You need to 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 uh to do your work as as adults, guys. Okay. Don't don't do it like kids do it like that, guys. Kids will do it like. You know, rock and roll, right? Was, right? Okay, so don't do that, okay? Right? You need to just correct for not um, punctuation. But that was good, okay, Paco? That There you go, okay? Plus for Paco, guys. That, that was actually good, okay? All right, very good. So see, guys. And now to answer your question, Irina, right? You were saying that this is a continuous action. This is not a, conti a continuous action, okay? This is a, a period of time, okay? Okay. Now, it still has an effect in the present, okay? I, I mean, if you say during the then, 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 during the 1950s, <laughs> it doesn't have an effect in the present, okay? Because okay. it's saying during that time, okay? Hey, during, you know, so so back then, you know, when... Okay, in the in, past. Exactly, okay? During my, my grand-grandfather's okay. uh, youth, right? Okay, All right, thanks. very good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. Good job, guys. Good job. You're doing great, guys. You're doing great. Okay. All right. So, uh, moving on, guys. All right. So, let's go back here. Okay. All right. So, so take a look at since and for. Okay. Wait. Are we supposed to be here? No. Here. Okay. I'm sorry. So, let's continue talking, guys, about and ago and during. Okay. So what is the difference between the two, the, the, them two, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the, first, the second sentence and then you're gonna give me your own sentence, guys, okay? So first off, guys, if we talk about, um, if we talk about a go, guys, okay? Now, notice something, guys, a go will most of the times be used at the end of the sentence, okay? Or you can say that it's always gonna be used at the end of the, uh, of this clause, okay? So rock and roll became popular about 50 years ago, okay? So if I'm if I'm in the year 2000, that means that I'm talking about this specific period of time. Now, guys, if I say about 50 years ago, is it still popular now, yes or no? It's still going on. Yes, okay, so it still has an effect in the present, right? So from here to here, guys, okay, this transition is 50 years, okay? So this is what I want you to understand. So we're talking about this transition over here, okay? So these right here, guys, this is 50 years, okay? Now, guys, notice something, okay? Is it still, guys, affecting the present? When I say 50 years, guys, is it still reaching the present, yes or no? Yes or no, guys, is it still reaching the present? Todavía alcanza, guys, cuando yo digo el rock and roll se volvió popular hace 50 años, todavía alcanza uh, al, al año 2000, yes or no? Does it still affect, yes. does it still have an effect in the year 2000? Yes. 
Yes, guys, it does, right? So we're talking about it became popular since then because it's still popular, okay? However, guys, a go can use, you know, when you say go, guys, a go, I'm sorry, we can we can use it, guys, with something that doesn't have an effect in the present. For example, guys, can we say, all right, let me go back here. Can we say, uh, I was, let's see, guys. Can I say, now tell me if this affects the present. I was very handsome uh, 10 years ago, okay? Now, what about this, guys? Do you think that this has an effect in the present? <laughs> what do you think? That now is ugly. <laughs> now, no. But now, yes, right? <laughs> it's in past. All right. So, no, so it doesn't have an effect in the present? No. 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 Okay. Very good. Are you 100% sure? Notice something, guys. I mean, it actually affects the present because, yeah, you're right. You know, I'm talking about something that happened in, 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 the, in the past, right? It affects the present in the sense, guys, that now, you know, it, it means that I'm, I'm talking about the present now. The present now is, is, is different, right? So, so, um, but you're right, okay? If you say, guys, okay, I was very handsome 10 years ago, it means that you're not anymore, okay? So, this is not technically affecting your present anymore right you're talking about something that happened in the past with no effect in the present whatsoever so far right uh let's have another example okay uh give me another example using a go uh alejandro and yeah give me another example using a go oh okay. Um, <laughs> think about it, okay? All right, Sonia, give me another example using a go. All right, I'm gonna give you more examples, okay? I, okay, I learned. I, I, all right. huh? Go ahead. I ate a hamburger, a hamburger, hamburger one year ago. One year ago, okay, very good. All right, I ate a hamburger one year ago. I don't believe so. All right, <laughs> all right, Kalina. All right, give me one example, Kalina. All right, now let's use other pronouns, guys. Okay, let's talk about. All right, let's go. Cheyenne. <laughs> oh my God, you love Cheyenne. Yeah, he loves a Cheyenne. It's not Cheyenne. It's Cheyenne, right? Okay. Hey, Cheyenne. All right, very good. I used to buy a, a... No, 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 don't, 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 don't use, I used to, uh, don't use I, okay? I want you to use a different pronoun, okay? Uh, so, Cheyenne, what? Let's talk about Cheyenne, right? Cheyenne? Okay. Cheyenne was very, faith, very famous 20 years ago. Okay, 20 years ago. Very good, okay? Cheyenne was very famous 20 years ago. Now... <laughs> Very good, guys. Now, notice, guys, that you can also, can I, let me ask you this, guys. Can I also use other tenses? Can I use different tenses in the past? I There's something that Kalina mentioned, guys, that I liked. Uh, we can say used to, okay? Cheyenne. Okay, Cheyenne used to bring, you know, used to bring serenades. To Kalina, all right? Twenty years ago, all right? Uh, it can be uh, used to be famous. You can say, all right, Cheyenne used to be famous. Okay, all right. That's something that I want to say about Justin Bieber. Okay, Justin Bieber used to be famous. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, but hey, right? Used to be famous when? Okay. Now you have to talk about the the time reference. Okay, when? How many years ago? Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Very good. Okay. Ten years ago. All right. Very good. Alejandro, give me your example now. So, guys, this answers the question, you know, how long ago? Hace cuánto? Okay. Hace cuánto tiempo? Okay. So, common mistake that we make, guys, I heard 
how how long time <laughs> no guys okay if you want to say hace cuánto tiempo that's how long ago all right anyway so uh so how long ago okay this is the the question that we're answering so alejandro okay, give me another example everybody do my favorite send me one example guys one more example with a go please sure. meanwhile alejandro go ahead uh music was better uh 30 years ago music was better 30 years ago good job right good job um let's see jocelyn right jocelyn give me another example jocelyn uh, let me ask you something okay check check out this question guys jocelyn how old were you 10 years ago <laughs> This is the one. Two. I don't know my age today. You don't know your age. <laughs> you look like thirteen. <laughs> so you were like three years old. <laughs> you, you look very young. No, all right. So how? Okay, so you were. I think. Okay, so how, how old are you, Jocelyn? Thirty-six. All right, so you're 26. Yeah, okay, you've told me that before. Okay, so you're 26, okay? How long was Jocelyn, guys, 10 years ago? How, I'm, I'm sorry, why, why am I saying how long? No, 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 that's not the question. Okay, how old, okay? How old was Jocelyn 10 years ago? Jocelyn was 16 years. Very good. Jocelyn? I go, you right. Was... 16, 16, okay, 10, yeah, okay. Jocelyn was 16, 10 years ago. Very good, good job. Thank you, Marina, okay. So Jocelyn was 16, 10 years ago, okay. So now notice, guys, that I can change, I can turn this, Jocelyn. Okay, what year was 10 years ago, guys? Quickly, what year was it? If, if, if we are in 2021, minus 10, what year was that? Oh my God, guys. What year was that, guys? Luis, uh, I'm sorry, not Luis. Uh, Miguel, what, what year was 10 years ago? ¿Cuántos años? ¿Qué año era 10 años, uh, 10 años atrás? That's what I'm asking. Guys, come on. Oh my God. <laughs> 2011, guys. Oh my god. All right. So I can say this, guys. Okay, Jocelyn was, I right, was uh, 16. Now, now we're gonna talk about another preposition. All right, we're gonna talk about this preposition, guys. We're talking. We're gonna talk about n. Now, when I say guys, 16 years ago, I'm not being really specific. Okay. All right. I'm talking about a period of time. But when I say n, all right. When I say n, guys, I am being specific about about uh, about the year, about the month, okay? But I'm being more specific now, okay? Now I'm gonna be more specific, okay? So Jocelyn was two, uh, 16 in 2011, got it? All right, so the, let's go back to the presentation, okay? And this is where in comes into place, guys, okay? The preposition in, all right? So when you're gonna be more specific, guys. So here, guys, in, you have to use in here, or you can say in here, or in here, or in here or in here. Why, guys? Because I'm gonna be giving you the specific year. I'm gonna be giving you what, guys? Specific time. Specific year. All right. Specific the specific time. year. Okay. Now it's not a specific time. And and I want, I don't want you to get confused, guys. Okay. But let me ask you this. Can I say, guys? Can I say? Um. Let's see. Can I say? Um, Laura, okay, so let's say Laura was bo uh, born in April 19th. Can I say this, guys? Is this correct? Yes. I have one. Yes, who says no, guys? No, teacher, on April. I'm sorry, yes or no, Luis? No. Why no, not? 
I, I don't know because I, I suppose I the specific year that that, that is I, a month. This guys is a specific date, okay? Day. All right, so I don't want you to get confused with this, okay? You will need to use the preposition on, okay, on, on. April 19th, okay? So with that being said, guys, okay, this refers, I'm sorry, I, I stopped the presentation. Um, so this guys refers to all right, you can use in, guys, but as long as you don't talk about a specific date, okay? You can use in when you do not talk about a specific date, okay? Only with years, months, you know, got it? All right, so not a specific date, guys, okay? It's a specific year, okay? So very good, guys. So everybody, okay, before we leave, guys, all right, um, before we leave, do me a favor, guys. I want everybody to send me an example of in, okay? All right, so remember, guys, you can be specific about within, guys. You can be specific about, you can be specific on the year, the month, <clears throat> all right, the season, if you want, all right? So give me examples, guys, okay? Now give me your own examples, all right? So when can I use in? Uh, send them, send them um, in the chat, guys, okay? So for example, Mirna, right? You send me an example that says, uh, my mom traveled to USA, to the USA. Guys, by the way, this is just a tip, guys. Let me give you a tip. When countries, okay, countries that are plural need the article the, okay? So for example, guys, United States, right? States, it's plural, so you say, the United States of America, right? Uh, for example, uh, the Netherlands, okay? Netherlands, okay? You say the Netherlands, okay? But Canada, can I say the Canada? No, right? Because it is not plural, right? So just, 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 just a quick, a quick heads up there, uh, Marina, right? When you're talking about countries that are plural, you need to use to add, add, okay? So my mom traveled to uh, to the USA two years ago. Now guys, how can I use in with that sentence, guys? My mom traveled to the USA two years ago. So how can I turn this using in? What do you think? Um, Paco, my what do you think, Paco or Rafa? What do you think? Yes, anybody? Uh, my mom traveled say, uh, in 2019. Okay, to the USA, okay, to the USA in 2019. Very good, okay, good job. Okay, so this is how you compose it. I, I think she wrote it. I, I think she wrote it in the in the exercise, I mean, in the uh, in the exercise that we were uh, practicing before this one. Okay, right. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, let me see your examples. Okay. So everybody send me your examples. So Janet says, I went to Guatemala six years ago. Okay, right. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, my second child was born in 2006. Good job. In 2016. Now, you are correct, Jocelyn. The only thing that if you start, you know, with a time reference, you, you need to use a coma after the year, okay? So in 2016, coma, I went to Mexico, all right? But it's okay. Alejandro Plitis, the first Harry Potter movie was premiered in, in 2001, very good. Luis Molina, my mom traveled to the USA in 2019, okay? Very good, guys, okay? I need everybody else's answers, guys, okay? All right, I need everybody else's answers, okay? So guys, um, tomorrow, guys, we're gonna continue with this topic, okay? And we're gonna have uh, exercises like 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 speech exercises, right? Uh, I saw, guys. I noticed that uh, most of you came here. Uh, before we leave, guys, four people who came late today, guys. Okay, let's let's pay attention, right? We are gonna have the 16 hours of you know we're we're gonna have uh, we're gonna cover the 16 hours of this course, guys. Um, and we're going to finish on Monday, okay? 
So on Monday, we'll have our, our uh, 16th class. Come, guys, so we can say goodbye. You know, well, maybe I see you in the next module, right? I don't know. All right. Um, but, but anyways, okay, so we're going to come this week, guys, from Monday to Thursday, and then next week, just Monday. Got it? Got it? Yes. So we were supposed to finish on, for, on Tuesday. However, where we actually delivered the class on, on, on a Friday, which, you know, that's the reason why we're just a little bit ahead of everybody else, right? So... Uh, with that being said, guys, okay, right? You're still getting all classes, okay? It's not that we're finishing one day before. It's just we ha we are one day ahead. Um, and also, guys, okay, um, they sent me they, they sent me a message, guys, from English Cooperativo today, and I need you guys to finish the platform, okay? So most of you, congratulations, guys, because most of you have done an excellent job, and and in fact, I do not see you know, too many people not having started the platform, right? But uh, I will recommend you guys, this is, you know, take this as your last week, you know, uh, in regards of the platform progress, because I needed to finish the platform this week, guys, okay? So it says here, guys, I'm going to read this, okay? Uh, Rafael Alfonso Herrera, I don't know if this is the, the same you, Rafael, uh, Rafael, are you here? No, you're Escobar, right? Yes, Rafael Escobar. Okay, so you're not Alfonso. Okay, Herrera Escobar, Escobar Herrera, no? No. I didn't. Okay. All right. So I'm bringing this up, guys, because uh, this is not for you then. Laura Maria Ramos. Laura Ramos. Hello, Laura. Hello. Hey, Laura. It says here that you have not done anything in the platform. What happened? Uh, I, I have a problem because I... I uh, down the um, the app, uh, grown up. Okay, do me do me a favor, okay? If you have any technical issues, please get in contact with technical support from Inglés Cooperativo. Uh, I need you to finish the platform before this Thursday, so you need to do all the sections, okay? I really need you to do that, uh, Laura. If you're okay. so kind, all right? Pues, si me pudieras ayudar con eso, por favor. Uh, yeah. Necesito, realmente necesito que finalice la plataforma. It sounds so okay. weird when I speak in Spanish, guys. Um, but yes, um, so yes, necesito, Laura, por favor, con eso, antes de su jueves, tratar, si, si no, si no, si solo tenés celular, tratar de bajarlo, bajar, uh, not, not to download anything from, from the platform, tratar de accesar a la plataforma y pues ahí completas todo. Okay. Um, okay. Online, desde la computadora. O puedes usar desde el website en, en el celular. And that's it. All right. Um, los que van retrasados, guys. Okay. Janet. Mirna. Mirna, come on. Mirna. Blanca. Uh, which is not your and name. And section and, number five. And Christine. Okay, very good then. Okay. Entonces, never mind. Okay. Eso me lo mandaron. Yo solo estoy leyendo. All right. Dice que van con la plataforma iniciada, pero con retraso, right? So, Mirna, I, I trust you, Mirna. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, and that's it, guys. Okay, so you can finish the platform, guys. One thing I'm going to mention, guys, uh, I will help you with the platform, okay? Ustedes terminan la plataforma aunque te saques cero en el examen, right? Al final, yo te voy a ayudar con todas. Ustedes vamos a ver un review de todas uh, las respuestas en la plataforma, guys. Uh, si hay alguna uh, respuesta que no está siendo aceptada, pues yo le doy con gusto la respuesta correcta and, and everybody will that is pass, a good okay? news. All right, that's good news, right? So, yeah, that's a good news. So vamos a ver todo eso, guys, okay? Vamos a ver, vamos a ver todo eso, I promise, okay? Um, ustedes ahorita háganlo, háganlo, sáquense lo que puedan, guys, okay? Y um, yo les ayudo después, okay? Thank you. Um, Estoy tan cansado ahorita, guys, que se me hace súper difícil hablar español. If I'm talking in English the whole day. <laughs> so, I'm just going to keep talking in English, okay? But thank you very much, guys, okay? You guys are awesome. Thank you, all right? I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Let's, let's go. Tomorrow, to good night. See you guys. Good night. Yeah. Bye. 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 You're early tomorrow, right? Thank you.